So Ghost Recon Phantoms has developed uh, between 9 and 11 different studios uh, around the world, um, starting here in Singapore and uh, going all the way Fall of the Sun to uh, San Francisco. Being based in San Francisco, uh, occasionally you come face to face with the time differences. We've really come to grips with this and now we have alternating meetings. In Blue Byte we cover a lot of uh, disciplines, which means the European operation um, is pretty much covered from here. Right now a lot of the software today, a lot of the video games today, is built around the world with different hands. Um, the challenge comes with having uh, a standard set of practices and a standard set of communication tools. After sending messages in bottles to Singapore, uh, which turned out not to be too effective, we tried more traditional tools, for example like Skype. <laughs> Messages in bottles. Uh, well, well, if the Germans sent messages in bottles, the issue is it's written in German. Um, so, working on such a multicultural team is uh, is a phenomenal advantage, but it's also a challenge. Uh, a challenge from a linguistic perspective uh, because everybody has to be able to converse with each other um, but we're patient with each other and we learn how to communicate. We build a product that's not just uh, built for our particular region of the world. We're building a product for North America, for Europe, uh, but also many other parts and in order to do that you need to be able to take input from these different people in these different places. So during the closed beta there was definitely a lot of work involved uh, and it was very challenging, but I think it was also a really exciting time for the entire team. Who told you we even had difficulties in the closed beta? Closed beta is terrifying. Um, you're, you turn the service on and you, you're, you don't know if the servers are going to go down, you don't know if a script's going to fail, you, you don't know if a character's going to have a bug and animate the wrong way. It's your first real feedback from a very demanding uh, audience and it can come as a bit of a shock if you're not used to it but it's also what makes it so genuine and so true. Ubisoft has been amazing with us. Uh, they have been extremely patient and very understanding of uh, the type of challenge that they had asked us to uh, to go through. The pressure from the management team was make sure you're learning the right lessons and don't learn them over and over and over again. Try to learn and then iterate from that and grow and then as well teach the company and themselves how to do them for their next product. It's not science fiction. It's something that people could uh, expect to really happen.